So just a quick video because the early reviews are in from the movie critics for Shazam and the reviews so far are very positive. Now you see on Metacritic the score is 76 whereas if you go to Rotten Tomatoes it's close to like 96 which is ridiculous because Rotten Tomatoes inflate the scores and they split them between Rotten and Fresh Tomatoes which is a really childish thing to do. But if you go to Metacritic you can actually see like an adult response where they just simply divide the score by 20 or the number of critic reviews they've got. But I did find this article very silly. What it does, it points out that Shazam is projected to have the lowest DC opening weekend, which this is a really silly point to make because it's not being marketed as a Wonder Woman or a Superman or a Batman or even an Aquaman because they know it's not an A-grade character and it might be a lower demand. So the budget appears to be 80 to 100 million. You know, if they make 400 million plus, plus a bit of revenue from the merchandise, that's still a great result. You know, not every movie has to be billion dollar box office. If we're told that this is going to be a big blockbuster movie but it shows at the box office then we can say that the movie's failed but if they're making it because they enjoy the character and they're making it because it's a fun movie then it's okay if it doesn't make a billion dollars at the box office it's what the filmmakers are trying to represent that we should appreciate so articles like this or any comparison you'll see and you'll, you'll see it a lot I think you'll see a lot of comparison towards the results of Shazam against Captain Marvel or Aquaman or, or Wonder Woman and they're just really silly because not every comic book movie has to hit a billion dollars it's a bit childish to think that they will or that the movie creators wanted it to but although it might not make sense but the movie creators might want this to be like an underground hit that has a core following that has longevity whereas then you might make a Wonder Woman movie and it, it kind of fizzles out there's only so much they can do with the character whereas certain characters might have a lot more longevity so you have to treat each character on its individual merits and this ask is really silly and doesn't do that so far going back to the reviews they are very positive reviews I'll leave a link but so far you know they're very good and the audience follows the reviews this movie could do quite well you know it might hit 500 million depends what competitions out there could really take off get a strong following do a bit more but you know 500 you know maybe 600 that's still a great result for an 80 to 100 million dollar budget but what do you think what i'm interested in is what's your want to see score now that rotten tomatoes would take that function away out of 10 how excited are you to see this movie now it does say it does compare it to the tom hanks movie big where it's like a young boy taking the body of an adult so maybe that's the sort of storyline we've seen before but again, all, all storylines we've all seen before. It's just how they, the fresh approach they try to take with it. If it does 500, 600, that is, that's a great result. And if you see any articles like this, just ignore them. You might even see some talk of a boycott. You know, there'll be Captain Marvel fans saying, we're going to boycott Shazam because some people tried to boycott Captain Marvel. If this movie is, is marketed on childish politics like Captain Marvel was, and let me know what you think in the comments below. What, what's your want to see score out of 10? For me, I, I'd say 7. I'm 7 out of 10 interested in watching this movie. But what do you think? And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And leave your comments below. How, how excited are you to see this movie?